Hi, okay, so today we have this problem of two people taking jet skis across a river and they travel at the same speed relative to the water and jet ski A heads directly across the river and is carried downstream by the current and jet ski B travels in a direction that is 40 degrees upstre upstream and arrives at, at the opposite shore directly across from the starting point. So what does that mean? Let's, let's try to represent that in, in a little picture here. So we have our little, we have our little river. And we have, we have the, we have this, we have this uh, jet ski. I can't, I can't draw very well, but we have this little jet ski. Okay, okay. I, I guess I guess that's a good jet ski. So, okay. So we we have a jet ski that's going that's going uh directly across. Wait, I should just draw this so that it's directly across. So directly across. But then, since since the river is moving this way, this way at x x meters per second. Um, this guy, this guy is moving, this guy is moving this way at x meters per second too. So this is number one. This is just, or jet ski A. Okay, so, so x meters per second. I'm just going to say this is y meters per second. Y meters per second. Okay. Um, now we have Mr. Mr. Um, Mr. Jetski B, Mr. Jetski B, and they should they should be starting at the same spot. And this guy goes forty meters or forty degrees upstream. So that that means that means that means uh, this guy is going this way at y meters per second. Oh, and this can be diff this could be diff or this is different for you. So just just make sure to know that. And which means we don't know how fast this guy is moving this way, but we know that this guy is moving this way. This way at well. Well, okay. So well, we don't know. We don't know how how fast this this guy is moving this way, but we we do know that this guy is moving this the to the left and to the right at the same speed because he's he's uh he's going directly across. He's going directly across while A is getting carried down. So 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 his vo his negative velocity is negative x, and this this is x, but but um. That that really doesn't matter right now, so let's see. Um, so which which jet ski re reaches the opposite shore in the least amount of time? Well, let's see. This this B guy moves left, moves in a diagonal direction, so he has to cover more distance with the same velocity. While this A moves in a straight. Um, straight direction so he doesn't have to cover as much distance as B so this is just gonna be uh, this is gonna be a let me write that this is just gonna be this is just gonna be a okay now we have to confirm our answer to part a by finding the ratio of the time it takes for the two jet skis to cross a river well let, let's just let's just do that um, let's just do that uh um to a to b a to b well a to b so so y meters per second is going to be let, let, let's just say that a is crossing this at 1 meters per second so 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 y equals 1 y equals 1 So y equals one. Get out of here. 
yeah, so, okay. And which which means B is traveling this way at Y equals 1 as well. So this th he's, he's traveling at 1 meters per second. So 1 meters per second this way. And, uh, and his degrees right here is 40 degrees. Because he's, tra he's uh, traveling upwards at 40 degrees upstream here. So what, what can we do with that? Well, well we, we know that this is, this is x. Um, okay, let's see. Let's bring our calculator here. Well, we know, we know that, we know that uh, opposite, well, we're, we're trying to find, we're, we're, we're trying to find this one, so we're, we're looking for adjacent and hypotenuse because we know hypotenuse and we know degrees, so we can find out the adjacent because this is a right triangle. So, so what, what do we know about trigonometric ratio? Well, adjacent over hypotenuse is co cosine. So, so ka toa. So, ka, so cos, cosine equals add adjacent over hypotenuse so we know that hypotenuse so cosine cosine 1 is equal to no just kidding cosine 40 is equal to 1 adja well, adjacent which is uh, which is which is unknown I'm gonna denote this by C so so unknown over over hypotenuse which is 1 so we're going to multiply to get C. Let's see. Cosine, so cosine 40 times 1 is just 0.766. So C equals 0.766. Now, we're, they're, they're, looking for, they're looking for the ratio of the time. So what, what can we do here? Um, well, this guy took, the, let, let's, say the, let's say the distance, let's say the distance is 1 meter, 1 meter. And if the distance is one meter, then this guy is going at one meters per second. So he's, he's going to take he's going to take one one seconds. So y equals one second. So or or a a equals one second. How about how about this guy? Um, he's he's moving at seven point six six meters per second, and we know that we know that a or velocity is equal to displacement over time. So, so velocity is 0 0.766 meters per second, and displacement is one meters, is one meters over time. So, if we if we if we multiply time to each side and divide by 7.66, we get one over 0.766, which is equal to let's see. So. 1 divided by 0 0.766 that's 1.30 oh so 1.3 oh uh, yeah 1.1.31 1 .1, sorry 1.31 1 .1 seconds so b takes 1.31 1 .1 seconds so the ratio would be 1 to 1.31 one second okay oh okay okay so the ratio would be 1.1131 1. 1, 1, 1. let me make a little square there we go okay so that's about it that's about that's how you do this problem